Hey guys, uh, my recording didn't work for the classes. I don't know why. So just making another quick one for those of you that didn't get a chance to watch it. So this week we're just going to be working on review. Uh, we have three classes and each day I'm going to give you uh, an assignment with some answers in it. And then you can go through and self check. You do not need to submit this. If you haven't finished up to homeworks number 14, then you should go and do that. Um, I've been giving feedback on it and I've been a little bit strict on uh, the expectations, especially for stating what the theorems are. Um, you don't have to state exactly the entire theorem. So for example, if the two angles were equal, that's because it's an isosceles triangle. Your reason could be isosceles triangle. Um, if the, if the angles are supplementary because it's a cyclic quadrilateral, so the opposite angles are supplementary, you can say cyclic quad opposite angles uh, supplementary or something like that. Um, you can abbreviate things. So you could use the angle symbol instead of saying angle. Um, just as long as it's understandable which theorem you're referring to. There's, it, it's not a strict rule that way. You don't have to write out the exact, uh, all the details. And you will have those, uh, the names of the theorems um, that you can access during the test anyway. So you don't have to memorize all of it, okay? Um, so one of the things I wanna talk about first before you start today is that uh, we, we've already looked at in the past where we used the area of a circle to find the volume of a cone and a cylinder. We also used um, the radius to find uh, the volume of a sphere, okay? So a full circle, just reviewing, if we're looking at the area of a full circle, that was pi times the radius squared, okay? And since we've got a full circle, we've got 360 degree angle of a circle, the whole circle. So that's 360 out of 360, which is one. Obviously we don't have to say that because that's just one. Now look at, here we have a sector, which is less than an entire circle. We know that area is equal to, and then how much of this 360 degrees do we have in the sector? Well, we have 90. And 90 out of 360, is actually a quarter times pi r squared. So that's the area, okay? So it's just whatever fraction is shaded. You need to have that angle there, right? Um, and if we look at arcs, well, arcs is circumference. So circumference is equal to pi times uh, the diameter, okay? So pi times the diameter, um, in this case, we have a full circle, so 360 over 360, okay, which we wouldn't have to do. Um, for a, an arc, so what is the length of this arc if it's at 90 degrees? So in this case, the circumference or arc length is equal to 90 over 360. That's the fraction times pi times the diameter, okay, which is double the radius. All right, that should get you going. Um, I will just explain really quickly that there is this example here, you're trying to find this arc length here, okay? Uh, and we don't have that angle of the sector. We don't have the central angle. We do know um, the angle that is inscribed um, from the circumference is that's 19. So we're gonna to have to use one of the angle theorems to find out the angle, the central angle here. And I think you can work that out. Once you get that central angle, you shouldn't have a problem finding the length of this arc. Other than that, I'll see you on uh, Wednesday or Tuesday, first, depending on what block you're in.